Hi. Two things. I'm sorry that the audio won't be great. It has been so humid lately, so the aircon is on. Secondly, I already did another version of this <laughs> video like five minutes ago, but this happened. So I thought it'd be wise to film another one. So if you're not new to my channel, um, I'm so sorry to say, but I think Life of a Wombat is dead. Hi. I'm Erica. I get this question asked a lot, and that's whether I prefer to be called Erica or AJ. Rule of thumb, basically. If I'm on stage, I'm Erica. In real life, face-to-face -face conversation, I'm AJ. Um, but honestly, Erica's just the branding. I was born with that name, yes, but it is a branding. I really, truly, don't care. <laughs> So I haven't really made a proper video in a while. I see these videos going around of people doing songwriting challenges. And they see what they can write in a short period of time. I love writing and at this point in my life, I cannot help but write. And I thought it'd be really interesting to have you come along that with me. I also love working with prompts. What I intended to do was to call up a friend for every one of these videos and ask for a prompt. But because I already filmed that today, I feel really bad bothering anyone else. My friend Marianne sent in the word choose for me. I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes to write this. So I really like the idea of making this a more regular thing so that you can just watch me as I write. I obviously won't do this for all my songs, but I think it is a fun practice every once in a while. As somebody who has spent a lot of my life in a creative block and then now I'm at a point where I'm just constantly creating and you don't have to be constantly creating but I'm definitely creating a whole lot more than I used to be. I think I have some stuff to share about how to overcome writer's block and overcome imposter syndrome and I'm gonna probably put that in a few just spread them out across some videos I'm just going to share tips as I go along. I'm just going to expand on these um, processes that I use. Um, they might work for you, they might not work for you. You might have heard them before, maybe you haven't. So when I think of Choose, I think of I Choose You by Sarah Burles. And the strumming is kind of like... So maybe I will go with something like that. My number one tip for songwriting or creating in general, I think this is the most important thing. It is to be in touch with your own emotions. When you repress things or when you're not honest with yourself, honestly that can be the biggest um, thing hindering you from actually creating because even if you're not writing about this specific thing, you are really just blocking out a lot more than you probably think you are. You're blocking out the ability to express yourself. At least for myself, I can say that I was in a creative block all the time until I realized this one thing that I had been repressing for a long time. And then when I let it out, and once I expressed it and got more in touch with those feelings and how they were affecting me, it's just like the words just started flowing out. And it wasn't specifically about that situation it was songs about everything my number one tip is just to be honest with yourself and really really look within and ask yourself what are you not saying what is dying to be said but you're not saying oh they warned me for years i didn't Cause it's scary out there, I don't It's scary out there, I think it's scary It's scary, it's scary out there And it looks, oh 
Switch it up. Learn a new chord. Learn how to apply that chord. I've basically written the same song a hundred times um, because I just didn't switch it up. So one thing that I always struggle with as a songwriter is just not being very well versed in my instrument, which is the guitar. Um, so I tend to always write in the same way, use the same chords. Um, and so one way I'm trying to combat that is now whenever I write, I have a sheet of chords in front of me so that I can maybe have a variation. Sometimes you conceptualize how a song is going to be. Sometimes you conceptualize what the final product of your art making is going to be. Um, and you have it really really clear in your head and it doesn't end up that way. And that's fine. It is because you had envisioned the final product without actually going through the process and the process could be just entirely different and you might surprise yourself and I think you should be open to being surprised Rhymes on Rhymezone.com Rhymezone you need some rhymes? Go on rhyme zone. Less than nine minutes to go, but I think I'm gonna stop there. So I have written a little bit of the song. My intention wasn't to write an entire song. My intention was to get kind of a little concept down. So maybe a verse, two verses, and a chorus, something at least. So I wrote the song with the prompt choose that Marion gave me. I wrote it about being afraid to be considered a grown-up. If you've been here, you would know that I do this thing on my channel where I write letters to my 22-year-old self and I've been doing that since I was 16 and I'm 22 this year. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's okay that you can't write an entire song in 45 minutes. Sometimes whole songs take years to manifest. This day would come And though they warned me For years I didn't really think I'd be a grown-up I Thought I'd have some time Well, a lot more than this Cause see, it's like I'm five But in an adult's body Someone I can speak to about giving this whole thing a miss Cause I don't think I'm ready to be taken so seriously Hi Key I think they're trying to get a good um, recording is harder than writing the song. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's really nice to get back into this, especially um, by working on something else so that I don't see YouTube how I used to always see it because I've evolved as a person. I'm wearing a bandana because I think that is the socially acceptable bad haircut headgear. So, take care everyone. See you next time.